What's up guys, it's Alex from Everyday Biking and welcome to episode 3 of the Punk Track series. Now, all in between episodes, I have built up the rollers. I've built up the rollers, they are a lot bigger than they were when we left off last episode and they are a lot, lot better. This is something I'm going to continue to do in between episodes. I'm going to keep building them up, keep smoothing them out, making them more flowier. So then at the end of the series, they're gonna be two really, really good rollers. So anyways, today we will be continuing down the pump track and you see we have encountered a corner, which means that today we will be building the very first berm. Some immediate challenges we're gonna face is the tightness. Once you come over this roller here, that's how tight the corner is. It's a very tight corner, so we're gonna probably start the berm right there on that stick bring it around over to these areas so then it's ready we're gonna follow the, the curve of the brick so our first step is I'm going to go and place out some uh, placement logs sort of just to guide us during our building of where it's going to be sitting over here and we will be right back all right so I've placed some logs and I've started the first draft of the shape of the berm. And eventually these sticks are gonna go. I've just been too lazy to get rid of them. But anyways, I think, I think this is a decent shape coming off this roller. Uh, I might fix it up a little. And then we are going to start getting dirt from our increasingly big dirt pit and starting to layer up the berm. So now all we gotta do is jump into our time lapse and start laying some dirt. All right, guys, it has been 45 minutes since I made the last clip, and uh, we're about halfway there on the first layer of dirt. And look at their pile. You can't go much deeper because it's just clay and rocks and stones and stuff. But that's all we've done in 45 minutes. This stuff takes time. All right. It has been a little bit of a time, but we have a layer. It's been about an hour, which does include a little lunch break, I will say, but we have a layer of dirt. And this pile is it's getting, it's getting really big. Um, I think what's, I should pack some of this down, make some sort of a shape, and then start adding more dirt on top of that and keep building and building it up until it is a good berm. All right, guys, so we have a berm. It actually looks like a berm. <laughs> it is not done. It is so far from being done. But there it is. That is the berm. We have a good little entry here. Shoots you off into the tabletop or whatever we're gonna be putting there next time. But there's still a ton of work to do. There's still a lot. So, we just gotta keep layering, just gotta keep pounding at it, keep hardening it up to get its shape, and then we will be done the first berm. All right guys, three hours later, the berm, it's finally done. It's pretty insane. This took a lot of dirt. Look, we basically have a swimming pool in the middle there. But this really took a lot of dirt, but I think it was worth it. I think we've got the shape. I'm really happy with it. You can see we didn't use all the logs. Some of them were just kind of sticking out like that when it didn't really provide any structural support. So I took them out. Anyways, I'm going to try to run down everything I've done because I really haven't time-lapsed a lot today. I've just been really busy 
grinding and getting all this dirt and everything shaped out the way I want it to and I think it paid off but anyways it's 31 degrees my brain is fried so excuse me if my sentences and words are completely jumbled but basically we have piled all the dirt on here I've used this handy dandy tool which is just a shovel uh, without a little pointy end on it not a spade that's a spade a uh, spade shovel spade shovel that is a spade shovel uh, Jesus I don't know anyways that I use that to flatten it out it's nice and hard so it won't fall apart when we ride it and then of course I use this the smaller spade over there to kind of create a divot let me see if I can show you ah there we go so you can actually see the little divot there which is where we dug out so basically what that did is we would just spade this a little bit push that up there that would make the top big taller and that would make the bottom deeper making for a bigger durum without using more dirt so you actually end up saving dirt so that's good but we couldn't do that obviously for all of it which is why we have to use this giant dirt pit but now that the berm is done i think that is it for today uh, absolutely broiling day it's been so hot but anyways if you like this video go leave a like follow us on instagram at everyday biking smash that subscribe button thank you so much for building with us today and we will see you on sunday see ya